Hey everybody. So today's Monday. That means it's time for family movie night. And this is our final week of Disney scares month. And this is something I've done every year for, I think the last six years where we look at some of the spookier offerings from Disney and it's so much fun. I really enjoyed doing it and I've enjoyed it, enjoyed doing it this month. And this week we are talking about the third entry in the Halloween town series. This is Halloween town high. And in this entry in the series, we have Marnie, our lead character that she wants to bridge the divide between Halloween town and the human world. And so she makes a deal with the, uh, the leaders of the Halloween town that, uh, bring, they can bring over some of the students from Halloween town and have them go to her high school in the human world. If they don't assimilate, if they don't, uh, merge well, then they, she offers to give up her family's magic abilities uh, as, I guess, collateral. Um, so she's definitely risking something. Of course, you have Debbie Reynolds uh, playing her grandmother in this, her grandmother, Aggie, and she is just so great. She really elevates this whole franchise. Uh, and then you have, uh, you have Kimberly J. Brown playing Marnie, and I really love her. She gets replaced in the next one. So you definitely miss out. I mean, this movie is nothing special. It's pretty basic uh, you know sort of your your treating pe people that are different better and we shouldn't ostracize those that are uh different and we can be more loving and kind all great messages all wonderful and uh I think that I wish that I got to know some of these uh, students. They're they're labeled as being from Canada, foreign exchange students, uh, but we don't get to know their personalities all that much. And I think they could have done a better job with that, with the script. There's also like a weird relationship between uh, her, between Marnie's brother and one of the uh, Halloween Town uh, girls that I thought was handled strange. You have... Uh, Lucas Grabell, who's in High School Musical, he's in this, but he's not given much screen time or much development of his character. There's this whole thing called the Knights of the Iron Dagger, and they uh, they hate magic. They want to destroy everything magical. And uh, so there's somebody who doesn't want these students to be going to the, uh, the human high school. Uh, I do think that there is something to the fact that it would have made been more interesting if we'd actually gone to Halloween Town High and that it had been in Halloween Town. And so you could have gotten more creative, uh, the um, uh, more creative creature design. Uh, and you don't get to see the creatures uh, very much because most of the time they just look like normal uh, boys and girls, they weren't normal teenagers. So now that's a little bit, there's also a little bit of a romance that they have for Marty in this. And his name is uh, Cody, played by Finn uh, Whit Whitrock. And he's, you know, charming and they have chemistry and everything like that. But all that's pretty predictable. Nothing in this movie is especially like surprising or new or anything else. I think the second one is definitely the best of the Halloween Town movies. But this is harmless. It has a nice message for kids. Uh, and uh, it has some cute moments where she's flying on the broomstick and uh, there's some moments of, of humor uh, with the various shenanigans of the monsters and Aggie trying to teach different subjects at school. I thought that was funny. And, you know, Debbie Reynolds is just so good and like I said, she elevates this whole series so much. Uh, and I think there's something charming about the kind of hokey practical effects of the series that I like uh, and uh, it's not particularly really scary at all and uh, this is probably the least scary of the three uh, so I, I don't think you'd, you'd have any problems watching it with the whole family and uh, in you know enjoying it together uh, but it is probably the most bland of the of the Halloween Town movies, maybe I haven't seen the fourth one. I just know that that one has a different, uh, different person playing Marnie, which is lame. Uh, so we'll see when I review that one eventually. But so Halloween Town was entertaining. Let me know what you think, uh, and please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate it so much. Uh, please check out the Patreon and also the merch store. Uh, that would help us out so much. And uh, thanks so much, everybody. And we'll hopefully next year have another. Disney Scares Month, uh, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.